Here we have 9.6 translating the graph of a parabola. So now we have multiple translations that are happening. So we have plus four, which means I need to go, I need to do the opposite, which is minus four from x values, which is going to make it go to the left four units, okay? And then this minus three outside the square is gonna subtract three from the y values, which is actually going to make the graph move down three units. Okay, so from the inside of the parentheses, it does the opposite. Outside the parentheses, it does the same thing. Inside the parentheses, it's affecting the x values. Outside the parentheses, it's affecting the y values. Okay, so then in your computer, all you're doing is grabbing this graph and then moving it where you need to move it. Now in the graph, in the homework, you're just moving the whole graph. For me, in order for me to draw it, I have to move each point and then just connect the dots. So I'm gonna take this point here and I'm gonna move it to the left four units and then I'm gonna move it down three units. And so I end up here at negative two and one. Now um, the next point at one, one. I'm gonna move it left, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. So I'm over here at negative three and negative two. Then I'm going to keep going in this manner, right? So now I'm going to take zero, zero and move it to the left, one, two, three, four, and down one, two, three. So I'm at negative four and one, two, three. Then the next point, move it four to the left, which puts me at negative five, and then down three. So that puts me at negative two. And then the last one, negative two and four, will go all the way to negative six, and then down to zero, to down three only, so down to positive one. So negative six and positive one. And if I connect those dots, it has, it's the same exact graph, the only difference is that it's been shifted to the left four and then down three.